Hey there guys, how are you all doing? This is your ABD or Vibro from Tech Tweak team. And so today I just re recently updated my Phoenix OS to the latest version, that is the 3.5. So it is not that much big uh, in size, it's just around 118 megabytes. So there are a few change, changes that are done like added VIP fee trial, fixed crash and ANR in case of specific networks. Fis Fixed after the VIP subscription, the ad window still exists. Fixed other crash issues, so I don't know what they meant. But if I go to settings and go to system updates, I can see that I am on the latest version of Phoenix OS that is 3.5.0.64. I did the OTA update and yes, it does boot. There is no problem whatsoever like before, like after you installing the update by uh over the air true over the air then your phoenix doesn't even boot so this does boot i have tested it and this is the latest version of the phoenix that i'm running on uh the vip app has been updated i guess for some more ads and stuff uh, let me go to settings and go to about tablet and even there i think we'll see yeah the phoenix os version has changed to 3.5.0 0.64 which is the latest version and uh, I just really hope that this version has fixed some PUBG mobile uh, uh, lag or something so let's test this up I'll just pause and try to uh, open the game up right click and open I'll open it up and I'll just pause the video for now on and I'll just resume the video when the game is totally loaded. So stay tuned for that. All right, my Phoenix, oh, sorry. All right, my PUBG is successfully loaded up and let's see if there is any uh, changes in the gameplay of the game, if there is any lag fix or something. I'll do it for Europe and try to do a solo match in Urangeo. Let's start the match and let's see how the performance have increased. There is no any major uh, changes uh, in this update. It's a small update, so I don't have big expectation that this will eventually fix many of the Phoenix or uh, PUBG problems. But I think the OS is now more stable than before. I don't know yet, but let's try it out and if it's really are good then it will be a great news for all our phoenix os lovers till now i don't till now even the game runs pretty well on my system uh, if you're really interested the specification of my system will be in the link will be in the description and so you can go ahead and check it out so <clears throat> This game really runs really well, uh, even in that specification with the help of L-Speed. And I think L-Speed has executed successfully, because without the L-Speed execution, the game would lag so much and it is barely playable. So here we are on the plane. Until now, everything is quite fine. I'll just show a minor gameplay I won't be just playing the game like uh, too much I'll land as soon as possible to show you that if there is any performance bump or performance issue now I'll exit it through the plane and let's see how the performance is If you're interested guys, I'll be posting my player ID on the description so you can send me a friend request and we can play together if we get any time. Okay, now I have landed. For me, I didn't experience any that much of a performance bump or performance decrease. Uh, everything is running as it runs the way it used to run before so yeah it's running quite fine and the gameplay is quite smooth let me 
take all those weapons and yeah guys so this is running really really well and i don't think there is any performance bump or decrease in performance but i think for other users if you update to this uh, version do let me know if your game has improved any performance or not and i'll be surely helping you out if you have any problems so this is abd rv bro signing out and god bless you all bye bye